There's a fabricator here. Oh my god, what is this? Greetings, human beings to the internet. My name is Julian. Thank you for joining me yet again for some more Subnautica. It's been a while. It's been a while since we played this game, but we have a plan. Uh, we seem quite far away from the base. Seems like the Cyclops has kind of drifted away. But our plan this episode is to pimp out our base. I want to continue working on it. I know you can add an aquarium. I want to maybe start moving over some of my supplies into it. I don't know how I'm going to do that, to be honest with you. Just probably slowly but surely. I want to put a fabricator in it. Uh, probably replace some of the things with glass. A bunch of stuff. Let's just go over to our base and start making it look good. Probably add some more power. Some more reinforcements. I don't know. Let's see what happens. So last episode, we managed to get the power up and running. So the moon pool now will pick us up. And it should charge it, I think. I think it charged this guy. I actually... I don't know if that actually happens, to be honest with you. Is it charging? It was at 99, fully charged. It does! It charges it. That's excellent. So we have enough glass to turn some of these corridors into glass corridors. Which is the first thing I'm going to do. Because I think it's going to look awesome. So this one right here is the middle one. I think this is a good one to turn to glass. Uh, I think this is going to lower the strength. Ooh. Minus two base strength. Okay. We have some lithium. So we are ready to reinforce this bad boy. All right. Uh, go there. Yes. Yes. This is so good. This is so good. Oh, my God. I wish we could make the whole thing out of glass. But I don't believe you can add reinforcements to glass. So eventually you just run out of places to reinforce things. But I want to make some more. What else should be glass? I think this one would be good glass. Yeah, let's make this one glass. Come on. We don't actually have that much glass in our inventory. So we can't go too crazy on this. I think we can make a few more. Glass. Yeah, boy. Yes. So much better. I want to make it like symmetrical. Um, Can I make this glass? I don't know if that's going to work. I think I might fuck it up. I need to take out the hatch and the ladder. But I might try it. I just realized I took out the only way I have to get inside here. Attached components must be deconstructed first. Okay. Uh, this is very awkward to do, but I'm determined to make this middle thingy glass. I think it's going to look cool. Alright, so take out the ladder. First. And then we'll take out the vertical connector. And then we're going to make it glass. All right, and then we want to put in a glass corridor right there. And hopefully the vertical connector will connect to it. If it doesn't connect, we've made a mistake. I have faith in this game. It will connect. You're going to connect, aren't you? I mean, it being glass might make it more difficult, but... Fuck, it doesn't connect to a glass corridor. Bollocks. Could I even put a hatch in a glass corridor? God damn it, Glass. You're annoying. All right, so that was a fail. So we're going to have to think of some better place to put our glass corridor. While we're here, uh, let's create a fabricator. Uh, wait, no, that's not a fabricator. A fabricator right against this window. I think that's a cool place to put it. I'm going to create a locker over here. Yep. I'm probably going to just put, like, building materials in here. It'd be nice if I could have, like, one just full of titanium and glass. That'd be good, actually. All right, we fixed our mistake. We fixed our mistake. But so far, we've got three glass corridors. I think it looks cool. It's very nice to have some glass in there. Uh, but also, there is this thing called the Seamoth Upgrade Console. And it says, build this in the moon pool. I definitely want to get that done. Okay, you know what? I'm going to remove both of these. I'm going to remove both of these guys. And I'm going to make these all glass corridors. I think I like the idea of having like a glass strip. Did I run out of glass? Shit. I'm probably going to bring the observatory over here as well. I was going to see if It's really difficult to get out of this thing. Okay, here we go. And then we climb up here. And then we go in here. Get in. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening? What is happening? Oh, my God. Whoa. The Cyclops just flew. It just absolutely flew. I was flying. Where the hell are we? How far did we just go? Why did it fly? Oh my god, I can't even see the island anymore. Wow, that was an interesting glitch. Jesus Christ, guys, we're miles. We went absolutely miles. Wow. At least Scarlet got to fly today. That's something I never thought she would do. Alright, we finally made it back. 
from our flight. Wow. That was interesting. I'm going to move Scarlet right underneath the island. So we can carefully navigate her through these goddamn weird stone tentacle things. Nope, we didn't. We were not careful. Oh, she's just too big. Go down, go down, go down. Dive, dive, dive. Alright, I'm going to bring her down here. Because if we're going to be moving stuff up and down, I can't be bothered to be travelling. Oh my god, she has a horn! I didn't know that. Alright, so do we have any more glass left? We have some glass left. Now we're going to take all the glass we have. I have to do some glass farming, which would not be fun. And titanium, of course. All the titanium in the world. Alright, how do we park this thing? Oh, wasn't the best parking job. Could have been worse, though. Could have been worse. Whoa! That's <laughs> so cool. Okay, first of all, is this single solar panel enough? I don't know. I'm going to make another one, I think. It seems optimistic to charge a whole base with a single solar panel. So, uh, how do we make one of these? Here we go. We need some quartz. Fucking hell. Alright, well, let's finish this guy. We should have a glass in our inventory. Okay, excellent. So, can we not attach vertical connectors to this? There's a thing at the bottom. So, let's go to vertical connectors. Can we connect it underneath? Oh, we can. Just can't connect it to the top of it. Okay, connect. Connect. There you go. All right. And then we want to do just a normal corridor. All right. Layer two has been created. And let's make a hatch so we can get in. All right, so we need to figure out this observatory thing. It can go on the end of here. Uh, where do we want to put it? Okay, for now, uh, actually, we are going to deconstruct this hatch. Take this hatch away. Because what I want to do is put another corridor connected here. Can we not connect this way? Oh, hey, there we go. Wait, 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 wait. There we go, there we go. Come on. No, Jesus Christ, this is really fucking difficult. There you go. Do it. Oh, I see. Jojo, Jojo, you're being silly. This is going to be a, a, a T thingy. Uh, a T corridor. This is what we need. A T corridor. Underneath. Come on, you can... Please. There. Do I get it? All right. And we should... God damn it. Is that right? Did I do it? Yes. We did it. Can we stick it here? All right. We created the observatory. I like that better. I like that better. Oh, shit. Do we have enough to make a hatch? Where is the hatch? We can't make a hatch. Let's make a hatch back here. All right. Uh, we're going to drown. Hurry up. Hurry up. Let's in. Oh, that was close. But look at this. Yeah, this is better. This is better. This is a cool observatory. Look at all the stuff we can see. This is kind of what I had envisioned. And we can look up and see the island. We see the rest of our base. I don't like how the moon pool legs are just kind of sticking out and hitting nothing. It's annoying to me, but maybe I can fix that. Let's make a bench. Let's put a bench. I don't know how benches work, but I'm going to... Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm... Okay, put a bench right... Make it symmetrical, Joe. There. A bench. And I can sit. Oh, it's backwards. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Why are you sitting on it that way? Why are you sitting on it that way? I don't understand. Sit. Oh, there you go. You just come around from the other side. Yes. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Benches are hard to use in this game. All right. Uh, let's go and install a ladder so we can actually get down here. We want to put a ladder here, I think. I believe that's the right place. Go down. Yes. Yes. Lovely jubbly. Oh, yes. This part is awesome. This is so cool. I love our base. We should be able to make this thing. It's, it is an upgrade platform. It needs to be placed in here. It might not work because it's still in experimental mode. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here it is, but it's facing the wrong way. Uh, so I don't want it there. So far, I cannot put this down. I've looked kind of everywhere. And it just doesn't want to go anywhere. And when I did get it down once, it was facing the wrong way. Oh! Look at this! Access upgrades. There's the upgrade panel. But it doesn't seem like I can change the name or the colour of this guy yet. And that's what I want. So the only place I can put it is there. What a weird place. Uh, we're going to put it down just to have a look at it. And it's facing the wrong way, but... Oh, wait a minute. Huh. Oh! It is supposed to go against the wall. Uh, upgrade console. Okay. There's a fabricator here. Oh my god, what is this? 
Zimuth Depth module, Solar Charging module, Storage module, Electronic Defense, Torpedo, Sonar, Metal Sensor. Oh my god. Holy shit. Wait, wait, does it work? <gasps> oh, we could do it. All right, I'm going to call it Philip. And also, it's going to have to be. Wait, where, where's the. Come on, where's my vibrant pink choice? Aha, here we go. Vibrant pink to match scarlet. Philip! Ah, oh, Philip, you look beautiful. <laughs> Philip, I'm so proud of you. You look stunning. I can't believe this worked. I really didn't think it was going to work. All right, let's go on our first ever voyage in Philip. Can I need food, water? Ah, God. And some quartz. But wow, guys. We have so much stuff to do again. It's exciting. I was almost running out of stuff to do. I think this is the one I want to do first. Uh, I can go really deep in that one. And I think I have what I need to make it. Fuck's sake. Also, another thing I haven't made is the aquarium. I know. I think the aquarium is really cool. So I think while I'm down here looking for food, I'm also just going to pick up some fish. Uh, so I can shove them in my inventory to look cool later. Like, I'm just going to pick one up. Normally, come on. God, they're much harder to pick up. Okay, okay, go on. Whoa! This is a new fish. A new fish. It's an eye fish. A cooked eye eye. Ha <laughs> ha! Eye eye! <laughs> Yay, that's great. Let's grab one of the weird eye thingies. Take one of you guys. A spade fish. I'll also eat you. All right, I got a spade fish and a boomerang fish. I don't see any other unique fish down here. I'm quickly going to do a little... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, quartz run. I need some more quartz. And... I seem to remember there have been quite a lot of quartz down this area. Whoa. Yeah, it may be the maximum for now, but not for long. All right, we got food and health, but our quest for quartz didn't go very well. Maybe we don't need much. I don't know. I'm so glad I have my game in experimental mode. It seems like you get to test out new features before they are officially released. Uh, I presume it means that they might be buggy or don't work properly, but who cares? Gimme, gimme now. Oh, look at him. He's beautiful. <gasps> Philip. Oh, I think I'm in love. It's going to be weird calling him Philip from now on. I'm sure you guys are going to miss me uh, mispronouncing the word Seamuth, but I'm a weirdo. Oh, I can see the uh, observatory from miles away. It kind of looks like it's lit up. Oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Scarlet, you got a buddy. Another pink buddy. Philip has joined the crew. All right, let's head back down and see what we need to upgrade Philip into a beast. Also, I want to make the aquarium. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but I'll figure it out. All right, Philip docked. Ha <laughs> ha, so good. This game is so good. Oh, my God. Use fabricator, left click, unpowered. Interesting. It looks like, from my guess... We don't have enough power. Okay, so we can see at the top that we don't have enough power. So we're going to have to go out and uh, prioritize making some solar panels. Because Philip is goddamn sucking it all out. Okay, we need some quartz. Uh, let's make two of them, I think. So let's grab four quartz. All right, here we go. Uh, can, I, can we not rotate this? Okay, there, that looks a bit better. Okay, and put a third one right here. See if we can line up quite neatly. So they look quite uniform. All right. I want it to look pretty. There you go. Three of them. That's better. 150 power. Noise. Noise. Computer chip. A computer chip. A computer chip. A computer chip. And a computer chip. They all take the same thing. Plus two ingot is 10 titanium. That's a lot of titanium. Uh, so we're going to have to prioritize something. I guess this one makes it go deeper. So that's the one we're going to get first. Solar charging. That recharge in the sun doesn't seem that useful because I presume you have to surface for that to work. I don't really plan on servicing much with Philip. Storage. Add additional storage container to your seamuth. Up to four. Ooh. Electrical defense. Triggered to activate a spherical electrical area effect around your seamuth. Fuck, that's cool. Torpedo creates a swirling whirlpool that pulls an object towards it. <laughs> what? Sonar. Metal sensor, lithium sensor, fragment sensor. Wow. All right, first we're going to go for depth and storage. All right, let's have a look. Uh, let's make the depth module like we said, of course. Okay. Oh, wait, we can only have four. I just realized this. We can only have four. So we actually have to decide which ones we want. Okay, what does this do? 
Ooh! It can now go to 325 comfortably. Before it was 225. And it can now go to 425. That's so good. Can we make another one of these so we can go even deeper? Oh, I just want to be able to go deep. That's the thing I want the most. I want to prioritize going deep. But what if it doesn't stack? If the effect doesn't stack, we've made a mistake. I think I'm going to do it, guys. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save first. Okay, I'm going to save. And I'm going to, I'm going to take this risk and see if they stack. If they don't stack, I'm going to load the game. That's not cheating, right? All right. Uh, put it in there. Ho, oh, ho. They do stack. I can now go to 500 meters. Oh, my God. All right. I think 500 is like the deepest I've ever got. So I'm going to leave it at two. Two deeper modules. That's awesome. We're going to have some deep sea adventures soon, Philip. Very soon. All right. The aquarium. I need two pieces of glass. And then I think we're going to finish the episode after that, guys. Okay. So here's a question. So there is the, the storage module for Philip. That lets me store thingy-majigs in it. But could I store modules inside Philip? So say uh, he could store up to, what is it, like four objects in it using storage? Up to four objects. So I could possibly have a storage module in one of them. And then three other modules. And then carry another four modules. And then I could switch them out depending on the scenario I was in. So if I wanted to go deeper, I could have another module waiting. If I wanted to go on a lithium hunt, I could have another module waiting. Yeah, I like that idea. I think next episode we will make a storage module. And we just try and make all the modules, actually. Uh, I don't know where I want to put the aquarium. Whoa. It's actually bigger than I expected. Um, maybe somewhere down here? Maybe Can I put it in, in here? Is it just... Is, it's really big, actually. Maybe I could, like, attach a room over here. Can I make this? I need five titanium. I think I'm going to put a whole another room down here. I don't know why yet. Uh, I may change my plan. But I think... I think that might be quite cool. Uh, let's finish this room. Get it done, sir. Get it done. Another one over... Come on. Another one here. I don't know if it's a good idea. Let me know if you think it's a good idea. But I'm not sure to do with the bottom level. I think it looks kind of cool. <laughs> Look at that chunk that's been taken out. That's hilarious. Oh, funny we can make this whole thing glass. Glass is just so expensive. It costs two glass for a single window. Okay, for now, the aquarium is going to go here. It's big, actually. It's way bigger than I expected. Yeah, it's cool. And you can walk around it. Uh, left click. Uh, we have a spade fish and a boomerang fish. <laughs> Yo, little dudes. Hope you enjoy your new home. All right, guys. I think I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, God, these stairs suck. Uh, this episode went well. We made this observatory, a few more rooms, a bench, a fucking bench, a cool aquarium, uh, some glass corridors, and most importantly, the upgrade system for Philip. He's got a name. He's bright pink. He's looking great. So next episode, we are going to focus on Philip. We're going to upgrade him to the max and then obviously go out and test out the new toys that Philip has. That is great. I cannot wait. But that's all for now. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Oh, no, no. Oh, shit. Take away things.